Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives. Still working on revisions and question papers from past exam papers that is uh, on engineering science and three. So we are going to focus on the question which is on hydraulics. So guys, if you're new to my channel and you're not part of the family, you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having on engineering science and three. So uh, the first question is to write down the write down an equation for a suction head in terms of the delivery head and the static head actually i talked about this equation uh, previously in one of the videos where i was uh, actually saying that uh, if you are given this type of equation uh, just take this consideration that this is your static head uh, this is your delivery head and this is your suction head okay so this will be your static head this will be your delivery head and this will be your suction head okay so if you combine these two together they will give you the static head okay so now we want an equation that is an equation for the suction head suction head which is this part here this this suction head so in order for us to to have this is going to be the suction head is going to be equal to the remember the static head is the one that is combined of these two so it's going to be the static head which is the combined head minus the delivery head like this okay so this is what you're going to have for the suction head uh, remember actually the static head is equal to the sum of the two that is delivery head plus suction so you're simply making suction head the subject of the formula okay so that's what we had guys on uh, 6.1 uh, working with the suction okay on 6.2 we are given uh, the following data refers to a single stroke pump take note this is a single stroke pump so when you're answering questions on hydraulics take note which part are you working with this one is a single stroke pump okay this is driven so this pump is driven by a diesel engine which has to deliver water to the reservoir above the pump so there is the working mean pressure we are given the mean pressure the volume per hour the output of the diesel techno this is the output of the diesel engine okay then the first question is to calculate maximum height of the reservoir above the pump okay so uh whenever you are working with this type of a question they 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 ask this question in this similar manner i don't know why if you are to cross check the other question that we did uh it was actually a typical question like this it was a typical question one of the same questions like this ones okay so take note here there is a mean pressure the the working pressure here so taking advantage of this pressure we, because we know that pressure is actually equivalent to rho gh so this is rho gh which is actually this is the density okay where we are given the density of water and uh, this is the gravitational acceleration and the height so we have this which should be measured in pascals remember pressure is measured in pascals so as we are given the mean with the working pressure in kilo kilo take note guys kilo means thousand kilo you multiply by 10 to the power of 3 that's kilo kilo means thousand so you multiply by 10 to the power of 3 okay so it's 345 kilopascals so 345 kilo which is times 10 to the power 3 is equivalent to the density of water uh, which is a thousand density of water is a thousand uh, actually but let me show you where you're going to obtain this just in exam maybe you actually forgot this value uh, we have the density of water here that is the density of water which is 1000 kg per cubic meters okay so it's 1000 that one is you are given so it's 1000 and also g you are given g is 9,8 multiply by the height okay so in order for you to find this height definitely you are going to divide okay just make a uh, change of subject is three four five times ten to the power of three like this then you divide by this part that is affecting the height which is one thousand times nine comma eight like this okay so definitely guys someone is going to obtain his or her height here so using your calculator uh you must obtain something like this uh let 
let me just have this value with you together actually it's a fraction that's three four five times ten to the power of three everything over 1000 times 9,8 so it's 1000 times 9,8 which is going to give us 35 comma something like that something something like that which is 35 comma 204 okay 35 comma 204 so this is going to be 35 comma 204 and this is the height so the height is measured in meters okay so guys you have to cross check with the question that you are working with also the information there is very very important the one that you are working with and how to relate with the working that you are given okay so let's see another question uh, another question we are asked to calculate the work done by the pump per minute so take note here they said per minute the work done okay so i talked about this part also in the previous class when you are given to calculate the work done uh, this is item seven five it's item six six point two two so when you want to calculate the work done actually the work done is the that working uh, pressure by the volume but this volume is going to depend with the way that you are given work done whenever you're given work done you're going to use the working pressure which is not we said it's supposed to be in pascal so you multiply by 10 to the power 3 then the volume per minute here we are given the volume of water delivered it's volume per hour and in an hour we know that we have got 60 minutes so you're going to divide by 60 okay so that's what you're going to have so that means the work done is the pressure which is 345 but in pascals is going to be 345 times 10 to the power of 3 because it's, the, it's kilo so it's times 10 to the power of 3 times the v which is the volume here so you ask per minute so it's this one you divide by 60 to give it this per minute so it's 25 over 60 that is now per per minute like this okay so that means it's now a matter of the calculator guys 345 comma not comma it's not comma 345 times 10 to the power 3 not comma times 10 to the power 3 like this okay multiply by 25 over 60 we are going to obtain that's the number that you're going to obtain okay which is one four three seven five zero like this uh which is actually uh this will be in joules okay so that is what you're going to have in joules uh or of which you can actually write this as a in kilojoules remember that kilo you have to divide by a thousand so you're actually moving that's one two three at this part here so it's going to be one four three comma seven five uh kilojoules like this so actually you can leave this like uh like that it's still one and the same thing guys don't worry about uh these conversions you can actually leave your answer like this okay now the other question was to calculate the output power of the pump okay so this is the output power of the what of the pump okay so when you are given the because we here we are actually given this was per minute so it is not giving us the actual power so in order for you to have the actual power you are supposed to have this per second so you are supposed to use this as per per second so you can actually redo this and use per second or you can actually use this one because you have the work done which is this one which was measured per minute so in order for you to convert this to power you just divide by by the number of minutes okay so remember that power is equivalent to work done over the time which is in seconds okay so the work done is the one that we are given which is this part that we have of 10 to the power 3 so you can actually work with this one that we had here which is one four three seven five zero like this okay then you divide by the time so the time in uh, seconds now because this was in we worked with something that was in uh, hours 
so if it is like this it means actually this is in hours so in seconds you're going to divide by 3600 like this okay so this is when it is in hours in seconds you divide by 3600 so this is the answer that you already have there so just divide by 3600 you are going to obtain 39,993 yeah 39,93 so you can just leave it like that is 39,93 because this is 39,930, but that one is not in effect. So this is the power which is measured in what? In watts. So it's going to be 39,93. Okay, so that's how you they can ask these questions. Then state uh, on 6.3, state Pascal's principle in words. They want you to actually specify this in words. Okay, so uh, actually... I wrote this so that you can actually have uh, something that is clear. Uh, I have this, the Pascal's principle, uh, which is, I don't know if it is clear, but if the pressure, if you are like working with the pressure, is applied on an enclosed system, the pressure will spread evenly through the enclosed a liquid or fluid. So remember, you'll be having a liquid or a fluid, so it's going to spread evenly in that. Uh, and is the same throughout so the pressure will be spread evenly and this pressure is going to remain the same throughout that is the pascal's principle when you are working with pressure okay so guys that's it guys um working on engineering science and three revisions and questions so that's how they ask these questions so not to miss these classes guys if you're new make sure that you subscribe to my channel amazon african motives and to share our videos to our friends and colleagues so that they also can benefit from this information that we are having from Maison African Motives. Till we meet again.